four, five. We need five floodgates. Okay. Um, and I'll go ahead and turn you off of mining for now. And we'll have our miner, our lone miner, go and make a dining room over here. Let's see here, where is the uh, food going to be? I'll make the food stockpile up here, I guess. This is going to be kind of weird. Um, hmm. I'll tell you what, I'll come back when I've set it up. Alrighty, so I think I've set up the uh, what's going to be eventually our dining room. Um, we have here our walkway to the dining room. We have here a walkway to where we're going to store some food. Uh, we're going to store food here. The farm's going to be right here. These are going to be workshops in order to produce food. This is going to be the prepared food workshop. Um, or not workshop, uh, stockpile. And then this is going to be the actual dining room. Um, so yeah, it's going to look like that. In the meantime, we'll go ahead and wait for those uh, mason stuff to be built, and I'll be back when those uh, when I've installed the floodgates and everything like that. So I'll see you then. Alrighty, so we have uh, completed all of the necessary components for the awesomeness. Um, I think we actually need a few more mechanisms because of what I'm going to try and do. We're going to go ahead and build a lever here. And another lever here. And a third lever here. Okay. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm also going to set my miner on to mining again. So he will both be a miner and a mechanic. After farming, I really don't use a mechanic, or, or I'll, I, I don't use mechanics very much after that, uh, other than to make traps. And by that time, we'll have more immigrants, hopefully. <laughs> so he has made one. Um, and there's not much digging left to do. I'll actually go ahead and turn uh, the other miner onto hauling, so he can do that. There's very little left to, to dig out. Um, one problem is that this dining room is made of sand or clay or whatever. It's not actually stone. Uh, so I'll eventually have to move that, which is unfortunate. Uh, but right now it's not that bad. Okay. Uh, and as you can see, this is why wheelbarrows are important, because this guy went and grabbed this rock, and now he moves extremely slowly. In fact, I will increase the max world, eh, increase the max wheelbarrows to three. It is now summer, so now sometime during summer we will have a, uh, a migrant wave, which will be awesome, hopefully. I'll move my mouse cursor out of the way, that would be helpful. Uh, let's go ahead and build a floodgate. We can at least build these two without worrying about anything. Uh, the reason why you got to worry about floodgates is because when they build the floodgates, they're built um, up. Like, they're built completed up, which is unfortunate. So, yeah. And apparently my mechanic miner dude is sleeping, so that's unfortunate. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, we can start putting chairs and tables around. Uh, so let's go ahead and put a chair here, a chair here, and a chair here. Put tables next to them. And our dwarves will go and do that. We should also set up this uh, food stockpile here. Um, and change the settings for food to not include seeds. Uh, forbid seeds. Hmm. Yep, we'll do that. Uh, 
Um, and the reason we're doing that is because we'll also put a uh, a food stockpile here, a very small one, which will only be seeds. Uh, so it'll make it easier for the farmers to just go and take that and put it in the thing. We'll eventually uh, mine out this little section right here, because uh, right now no one can actually get into this area. Um, the reason I haven't done that right now is because this area is going to flood, and I'm not sure if this is the correct amount of water or not, so I don't want it to flood into a stockpile full of stuff and make a gigantic mess. Um, we will also go to our other food stockpile here, change it to Forbid Seeds. There we go. So now they'll move all the seeds over there. I also told them to go and mine more, or get more plants and trees, because we were... I don't know if we were running out. Yeah, we're kind of running out. Um, we need more barrels. We need more dwarves, really? Um, if we take a look at our food stockpiles right now, we have 60 beer, which is not a lot. And 50 not beer, which is also not a lot. <laughs> a still, let's brew some drinks. I don't know who our brewer is. Are you our brewer? Oops. Someone made that that had brewing. Who else is our brewer? Uh, probably our woodcutter. No. Stonecrafter? No. Mason. Can't be our carpenter. I don't know who made that. I was sure that you needed a brewery for that, or brewer or something. Maybe not. Whatever. Hopefully, we get a brewer in the next um, in the next migrant wave. And by next migrant wave, I mean the first migrant wave. The first two migrant waves that you get are fixed to be between, I think, 2 and 10, or it might be 3 and 10, something like that. So, eh, I don't know. Uh, looks like all our levers are done, so let's go ahead and build a floodgate here. And hope that he does not lock himself into that area. That would be nice. Who's doing that? I don't know. Dangerous. Take this. Okay, he's not going to lock himself in. Sweet. Do that as well. Uh, this will be for the furthermost one. Um, add link with floodgate. That one. Yep. There we go. Okay, and then add a new task to that one. We'll do that later. Okay, we're, we're moving along. So basically what we're going to do is this is going to link up with that floodgate. This lever is going to link up with that floodgate. And this lever is going to link up with all three of these floodgates. So when we flip this switch, that'll go down or up, depending on where it was. Um, don't trap yourself. Don't trap yourself. Cool. That floodgate looks ugly, but it's fine. So, add floodgate. That one? With that stuff. Uh, and I do need to go make, what is it, two more? I don't know, we'll make four more mechanisms, just in case. Looks like our dining room is done. Let's go ahead and build some doors to wall that off. Uh, we also want to wall off the kitchen, which is here, and the uh, butcher shop, otherwise deadly miasma. Or not deadly, but really annoying miasma. It could be deadly, I think. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Uh, so when all of these are linked up and stuff, I'll, I'll come back and that'll be the next uh, part that we do. Oh, <laughs> I forgot something. I forgot to make those... Uh, the <laughs> I, I looked at our stockpile and I'm like, why are all these beds here? And I was like, oh yeah, I never made any bedrooms. It's terrible. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and make the bedrooms over here by the um, by the kitchen. 
Um, let's do it this way. Uh, bedroom there. These are really big for bedrooms in Dwarf Fortress, at least uh, initially. You really don't need a whole lot of bedrooms. Or not, but you don't need a whole lot of bedrooms. You don't need a whole lot of uh, space for dwarves to be super happy, as long as they're not nobles or something stupid. Uh, what is that? Six and seven. There we go. Uh, we're... Don't mine this out. That's useless. So we're going to all go ahead and mine that out and put some beds there. And that'll be good. And then I'll be back after either of those things happens. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I forgot. Let's go ahead and make this a uh, dining room. There's our dining room. Okay, so yeah, I'll be back. All right, we've uh, completed the bedrooms. We're installing beds now. There's already one done. Uh, we can go ahead and uh, make this a bedroom and assign it to our military expedition leader person. Uh, and that'll make them happier. Uh, well, let's take a look at our some of our dwarves really quick. Just for fun. Uh, who's this? V? You. You are Tot Earths, the miner. You have been quite content recently. Uh, let's see here. You like whip vines for their length and llamas for their wool. And you prefer to consume giant porcupine and dwarven beer. She hates purring maggots. Yep. Um, you can check this to see how happy she's been lately. Like, she has a fine drink. She talked with a friend. She slept in the dirt, which is bad. She had a pretty decent drink lately. Yeah. She slept in the grass recently. That's bad. She's complained of lack of chairs lately. That's bad. She was caught in the rain recently. That's bad. She admired a fine door. She's been satisfied at work. Uh, one of my dwarves has no job. Why you have no job? Oh, she has a job. Carpenter has no job. Um, Carpenter, where is your workshop? There it is. Uh, you can make um, some cages. Make like f five cages. You may be asking, why are you making cages? Because I'm going to put traps down. This whole area right here, cage traps, eventually. Uh, we are kind of running low on food and drink. We should be okay. Hopefully we get a uh, migrants soon to help with the hauling and all this other stuff. So I can set someone else to be a mechanic and have my miner just start mining out stuff forever. We have plenty of stone, right? Yeah, there's still stone lying around. Uh, you can look at your stocks and stuff, like, where is stone? It's probably the one that's the biggest. Really? Stone, 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 stone. Where's it at? Logs? 30. Stone's about 50. There we go. Uh, the reason we don't, like, usually you'd have tons of stone by now, but the reason we don't is because we've, we cleared out this area, which was all not stone, and we've cleared out this area, which was all not stone either. But that's fine, we'll eventually clear out some more. Uh, that one should almost be done, yeah, it just says pull the lever. Which someone should go do shortly, there he goes. He's gonna go pull the lever... Okay. Fuck. <laughs> I messed something up. Um. Can I unlink? <laughs> Damn it. Pull lever. My only hope is that I did not actually link that to that, but I have a feeling I did. Did I? No, I didn't. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Add floodgate. That one. There we go. Then pull the lever. 